Sexual assault is the most underreported crime on any campus. Only one in 20 cases is reported, meaning CU's number is more likely to be around 80 cases of sexual assault per year. 2009, we had four cases of sexual assault here on campus. I understand your confusion and saying a crime's been committed, why aren't you guys following up on this? But a critical component of understanding the story or understanding the event that happened is getting the information from the victim. But getting that information is difficult. Mary Friedrichs, director of CU's Victims Assistance Office, explains the main reason why victims are reluctant to report. Most often people don't want to report because they are afraid, and they're right to worry about this, that they may be blamed because we do come from a very victim-blaming culture. Although not going so far as to blame victims, CU police have found that all the cases in 2009 share circumstances that can be avoided. The similarities between them were drugs and alcohol were involved and that the parties knew each other. The VA's office also warns that alcohol is the weapon of choice for persons seeking to take advantage of women. Come in and they look for the most incapacitated person and if they don't find an incapacitated person they will work for, look for the person who they believe, rightly or wrongly, that they can assist to become incapacitated. Frederick says that 9 out of 10 rapists are considered serial rapists. They have done it before. However, women who feel afraid of being blamed will often not speak out and identify their attackers. Women need to feel comfortable that they have the right support system in place. While both the CU Campus Police and the Victims Assistance Office say that they are doing all they can, the real question is how safe that students feel on campus. I think that, you know, if the CU Police and then other organizations on campus kind of you know, gave them that support system and gave them that, you know, encouragement to like, yeah, keep going, like you're making a difference with this, then I think it would encourage girls to come out more. Colorado law says that a person who is intoxicated cannot give consent. If a woman says no, even once, the sexual assault is considered rape, a crime that doesn't have to keep re-victimizing them again and again. The thing that has to change is the way we blame, blame victims. Katie Gothier, News Team Boulder.